All right, well, carrying on, it is the British Impulse. And what I'm looking at, it's just like I said, it's a solo learn-through game. You get a lot better results or a lot more varied results. It wasn't the same person playing, but if I was the British, uh, we're running out of time. It's almost uh, winter. But uh, you have the option of bringing the army of the north on down through and try the British army of the north on down through and trying to tag with the colonials. We still have forces here, but I have a bunch of forces up here in Quebec. I'm going to kind of block off an escape route here. We're going to try to... Uh, oh, I guess we could. Nah. Well, let's go ahead and activate. We'll leave Carlton there in Quebec. He's got to stay in Canada anyway. We got a better general in Clinton, so we'll try to we'll activate Clinton instead. Colin could stay with the chief loyalist garrison strength points. Plus, we got a British garrison in there. Five or less. He can move his full complement of four movement points. We'll see what we want to do with him. Uh, huh. Be right back. All right, we're just getting to move him out. I didn't see that waterway there. So that's a one, two, three, and that's as far as it can go. I wanted to get him down here to uh, North or Northumberland or whatever. That would be the extent of it. Oh. All right, I guess that's going to do it for the British Action Pulse. There's not much going on. It's trying to move these units through this terrain. Taking up a lot of a lot of time and actions. Like I said, everybody's maneuvering around in my game. But it's what I would do, bring forces down. Now somebody else might have attacked, but uh, that'll be it for the British Action Pulse. We'll see if we want to do anything. Any freebies? Oh, we got to move those fleets around before it turns into winter so we'll do that real quick we'll be right back by the end of the second winter AP huh. action pulse alright so you get to go into the action pulses two two times or yeah and then you have to move your fleet so we really don't have it done yet we have to wait till we're in winter right now we're in fall so that don't have to deal we have to deal that till winter uh, we're ready to roll Oh, do I want to move any fleets anyway? I'm trying to think. No, I don't think so. Let me see if I want to mess with the Lake Fleet for the uh, British. Be right back. Nope, I don't believe we'll move any fleets and we will roll for the initiative. Ty goes to the Colonials because they won last time. Initiative, I roll. Colonials, continue. Alrighty then. Let me see what we're going to do with our last initiative of the fall. Oh, offensive, defensive, everybody's moving around, we will be right back. Alright, as much as we want to do up here, we got to continue on with our little northern movement there. So who is that again? That is Ward, and Ward needs a four or less to get that army up north. Oh, winter sets in. Oh, no way. Alright, we'll get to two. Oof, that hurts. That'll take him to Morristown. That is about it. Oh, you suck. Wow, stuff starts getting tough in the winter. Well, that was kind of a waste of a turn. All right, well, you can only do what you can do. Oh, all right. Well, that'll be it for the Colonial Action Pulse. Wow. Hopefully, the uh, British have the same bad luck in activation. Let's see what I want to do with the British. We'll be right back. We're going to try to get something done here. The British are activating Frasier. Five or less. What a die roll. Oh, they're all suffering. Well, I think that'll be enough for what we need. Because Frasier is going to use this two to move into. Uh, well, let me see. Here we go again with the Germans. Uh, I want to leave one back. Let me uh, see here real quick. Take one. Let me leave one back. So we got a one. The problem is we don't have any other ones. So I'm going to have to make one. I'll be right back. All right, then old Fraser, leaving Norwich. Two of his force uh, movement allowance puts him in a Ticonderoga, where we have a battle site. British, I guess, are trying to assault 
We'll see what the numbers say here. Let's get this fixed up a little better. Here you go. Two, four, six, eight. And we got defending. Just four. Wow. Four militia even. So look at a negative modifier on that. Let's find out what we want to do as Washington. If we abandon the fort. Save our save ourselves. We'll get the modifiers here and find out what's up, but We'll be right back with the latest uh, conflict in Ticonderoga. We'll be right back. All right, well, they achieved that little milestone of uh, getting a two-to-one attack versus a four. And they got some good modifiers because they got regulars going against militia. So I think the best uh, policy for Washington is to get the fuck out of there. That's probably what I would do. You don't get no... You ain't doubled in, the, in this game. The only thing is, if he's looking at shitty odds, like one to twos, he could do what's called a siege. And that would help him out. But right now, yeah, no sieges. We could we'd go ahead and assault. So we'll roll and see if Washington can get out of the fort. Fort stormed. We'll be right back. All right, then. Rolling for Washington's escape route. See if he can get out. He's got an escape route if he has to retreat, but we're looking for a ooh, a six or less. So it's pretty much a gimme. There you go. Washington's out of there. He can retreat one space. Now I believe the retreat and go forward can keep on going until he's out of movement points. So we'll check that out real quick. But we'll put Washington. Ooh, back here with Fort Edward. He'll get a home gain or colonial regular, but that'll be it for his retreat routes. Wow. <laughs> Hold on a second. We might want to retreat him up north. Yeah, although we can't because the militia can't go into Canada. What the hell we do there? Huh. Got restrictions on movement. Oh, we can still go back that way, can't we? No, there ain't no trail to lead back there. If I go back here to... Well, maybe I retreat and I leave my, <laughs> leave my army there. Oh, uh, what do we do? I'm going to check this out. We'll be right back. Well, before we go any further, we got to re-roll Washington. He's got a... That's what that six is for. I kind of had that in the back of my mind when I was going through that. I'm like, hmm. So we looked that up, and I'm like, well, it can't... What, what could it be? It's six or less to activate him. No. If he gets a six, he's got to roll another six. So we might not be out of this yet. We will... Everybody's still in Ticonderoga. And Washington's going to roll again. Now, it says if you make... This... I don't know if this makes any sense. If another six result, he fails this a his activation, but still has two movement points to move his forces. So, what's the difference between activating? I mean, if, <laughs> if I always look at the move your guys, that's what activating's all about. So, if he's not activated, he can still be activated. It's basically what it's saying. Wow. I don't know. Sometimes. All right. Let's see. Don't get another six. He got it, too. So, now I guess he can move his full complement. Oh, what do we do? What happened there? Yeah, he's not, nothing's changed, I guess. Because I it moved him out, so yeah, he's moving his full complement, which is here. And he can't go nowhere else. He's blocked by Kip Housen or Knipe Housen, so yeah, nothing's really changed. But I just want to make sure there is that rule, if it makes any sense. If he rolls a six, he gets to roll another six, but he still gets to move. Okay, whatever. All right, so um, that is it. Uh... Cornwallis cannot move again, so we'll put him with all of his units here. Uh, yeah. Or Frazier, rather. Yeah, Frazier. Why do we have Cornwallis in here? What are we doing wrong? What's going on? What's going on? We'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Old Cornwallis must have got moved in the fray uh, to Ticonderoga, but this is the way it is. Uh, Frazier. Moved on out, left one at Norwich to attack Washington. Washington met the criteria to escape down the river. There you go. Got on the river and got on out of there down to Fort Edwards. There you go. That ain't a bad little move. It's probably what happened, but would have happened too. So good game mechanics. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? I think we're back to winter. We just wanted to make sure we were doing everything right. Oh, there was something else I wanted to check out too. I forgot. Well, I got to make a mental note. We'll be right back. State of the map with our little Fraser Cornwallis 
mix up straightened out. Looking at what we got to do here. Like I said, Army of the North uh, probably does get themselves one of these. A lot of, communi a lot of communication cuts. I don't know when you determine that, but let's leave that under just to make sure. Now, I need to check everybody out, I guess. I think a lot of communication only comes into play, though, when you're actually figuring out. Oh, battle modifiers. You come down here in a lot of communication. I think when you hit that right criteria, then you put the marker on there. We'll just, let us keep it on there. Just let us keep us, remind us. All right, we're moving into winter uh, chores. What we have to do with our troops. And uh, when we come back, I'll uh, let you know what that all involves. Just make two note though, too, in spring. We got no cards. I thought about ditching these cards because it's going to be a while, but man, they're so close on the brink. We better keep them. One of them's to move his uh, marker towards game win for me. The other one is to move my marker away from game win for him. All right, well, I'll be back. Well, no winter quartering is really done until 1777. So I guess everybody's still fresh with their enlistments with the game starting in 1775. Not for another turn, do some enlistments start expiring. And I guess the effects of being at war start kicking in, but right now everybody's fresh. Everything's good to go. The only thing is, only two movement points up here in the north. And only two action pulses for winter turns. So there you go, a little bit of a shorter, shorter season. And, uh, other than that, I think we're ready to go. We're going to check out the reinforcements and everything like that, but uh, most of the requirements of being into a fortress, key city, circle space, those limits of how many units they can supply during the winter don't take effect till next turn. So we're on it. We're having a great time. We're going to move the gold reinforcement charts on down here and check those out. First, it's going to be time for a dog walk. So we get to get out and stretch for a little bit. Having a great time here. It's Super Bowl weekend. We got fantasy stuff to do. All kicks in, but like the song says, a time and place for everything. We're having a good time with War for America. We'll be back. All right, well, most of this winter turn effects come into effect. It says after both players have moved two action rounds, so pretty much after winter's over. As long as there's anything left to do or set to go, or you just to find out whose initiative it is. So let's see here. Right now. Oh, there you go. All right, well, it will be the Colonials because they were last ones to have it. And we will be picking some cards here. Our card deck is running low, so we might have to reshuffle. First one to pick will be the uh, British, and they have to take it because they don't have no cards in their hands. Oh. All right, they give themselves a little tactical general. The uh, Colonials have two cards, so definitely take one. Oh, what's going on here? All right, what's a U.S. card? Oh, the British must move at least one force and attempt to have battle with the Colonial force in this area. Well, okay, well, there you go. More cards that move the British political will marker to the left. Now, we got three cards in our hands, so that might do it for us. Let's see here. Oh, Light Horse Larry, he, Harry Lee. Here's what we were talking about. <laughs> I think this is uh, the Lee, not the other Lee, not the Charles Lee. Light Horse Larry, Harry Lee, I think this, if I'm not mistaken, what I referenced previously when we flipped over with Charles Lee. That's uh, Robert E. Lee's relative. I do believe, I'm not sure. All right, so I made a British turn. And they got another card. Wow. All right, they're getting their little tactical generals. The uh, colonial turn. Oh, uh, tactical general. Now, we got a lot of these cards, actually. But we'll keep these because these are valuable. We're not really hurting for generals, so we'll put that back in this card pile. Uh, I guess that'll take care of it. Is that it? Uh -huh, one more card. All right, here, this is the last card. Extended March, they'll take it. So we both got two full hands of cards. That'll take care of that. It'll be the Colonial Action Pulse when we come back. Got to reshuffle the deck. All right, then it is the Colonial Action Pulse. Ooh. Maybe you can get this one a little bit better. There you go. Yeah, let's see. All right, Colonial Action Pulse. And as much as we need to get this unit up north, 
we need to get Washington out of his little predicament. So he'll be rolling for his activation with a one die. With a six. Don't wear a six because he has a roll again, so he has a two. He gets his full complement. However, it's winter, which means he only gets two. So he will move one into the space with Kephausen and his two German action points or strength points. Oh, what did we do with the all important battle marker? Uh, we'll be right back. I'm sure, I'm sure it's floating around here somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, I guess it's Saratoga. Washington bailed out of Fort Edwards because he's got he's got to get his spot cleared. If he gets a retreat result, he's up, you know, what's Creek. So he'll move on out and attack at Saratoga. There's also a key space there. I didn't know there was a magazine. Or is that magazine? I think that magazine's from Ticonderoga. That's where that magazine comes from. So we'll just get rid of this. That magazine's goofy. It must have stuck with Washington's stack when I moved them. All right, well, there's the status of that. We're down here. Ooh, we're looking at a two to one attack, so that takes care of that. We got that good old two to one odds, cherished two to one odds in this game. We'll see what Kip Housen wants to do. We're right back. All right, then Kip Housen will roll for his retreat. Looking for a five or less to get one space distance between him and Washington, and he does. Kip Housen and his two homemade strength points because the game has run out of German units. So he will retreat one space back to Albany. A big key space there. He'll be set. Washington can only move oh, two He's got two uh, movement points. I guess he can keep on going. He left Edwards. That's one. He has two. Let's take him on again. And Kephausen will retreat again. Looking for a five or less. So let me see here. Well, I guess we're doing this basically. Moving the battle marker here. Kephausen's back to here. And this will be the end of it because it'll be the end of uh, Washington's movement. There you go. We really have to bat him or not. A six means battle's on. There. All right, well, he's gonna move back another one. This time, he's moving back to Hosek. That's where I'd move to if I was him. And Washington is in Albany by himself with a great escape. One strength point of regulars and four strength points of militia. That militia could still stay in New York. Militia maximums are six. He's got four with him and two here. So he's got his maximums. They can't move out of the region, though, so they're stuck in New York. Or, well, they're stuck in this big area here, but then you have militia maximums and all that good stuff. So I think New York's pretty much their ooh, area of operate, <laughs> operations. Uh, I was going to say operate, but I don't know how that would go. So let me see here. Keep the word management to a minimum. Uh, let's see. I guess that's going to be it. It will be the... Uh, yeah, Washington made it escape, cleared his route. Yeah, that was a good move. That was a real good move. If that would have went the other way and the uh, British for their initiative, that could have been a lot different. All right, well, now the British get their initiative for the winter. Having a great time here. Tried taking a dog for a walk, but oh, that was not a good walk. Poor poor dog was outside, having loving life, sleeping his ass off. Even I seen how good he was sleeping, but I know he kind of needed a little bit of stimulation and activity. So I woke him up. He poor dog kind of trudged over with a sleepy face. Like, Let's go for a walk. Well, it kind of gets his tail going. He's ready to go. I didn't get for much of a walk. I, I get to one spot where I have to turn around because like, they have dogs, and I don't want to even try that. But when we were coming back, there was another guy walking another dog, which is fine. But uh, it was a, a kind of at an intersection where cars going in and out, and I wanted to get by the dog. And I don't know what happened to my dog. I turned my head and looked back around. I don't know if he, if my dog tried getting up on the curb. But anyway, he's laying on the street on his side. <laughs> and he's a big dog. But he wasn't making any attempt to get up. I'm like, oh, my God. Well, you know, what happened? Is he, did he break his neck? Is he paralyzed? And I gave him a little help up, and he, he was able to get up. But his collar come off him, his little leash, so he's walking around. Out of, he, luckily, my dog would not, don't take off. Yeah. Woo. I've seen people with dogs, and as soon as those dogs know they got that leash off, that fucker, the dog's gone. Well, luckily, mine just kind of stands around and looks at me. I put his leash back on it, but luckily, we were only about 25 yards from the house. So I said, that's it. He's coming in, and <laughs> he ain't going outside. He stayed inside. Let's 
this will give it another try later. Those things can go wrong, poor dog. All right, when we come back, we will have, uh, shoot, the British. Oh, did the British just move? No, we just got out of the way. So I want action polishers too. Let me see what's going on here. We got that thing set up the wrong way. We'll find out real quick. The British are going to roll for Howell's activation. The Army of the North. Looking for five or less. And he might not even be able to get there, but he, we want to attack the Colonial Army of the North because we believe they are cut off from their lines of communication. We will check that out if the battle ensues. Rolling one die, five or less. Oh, and like I said, it's, this is kind of good because he only moved two, but we'll find out if he can move. I guess he can move two no matter what. All right, well, yeah, he can only move two. So we'll see here. One, go through here, two, he can make it. So he will be landing on the same spot as Skylar, Army of the North. Skylar has a retreat route. Well, that's fine, okay. We zoom you on in here. Skylar has a retreat route. Easy for me to say this way, so if he won't destroy his army, he can still get out of there. But yeah, he's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna bail. We don't even think about this one. Oh, we got 15 strength points though, but our line of communication is cut. We need six movement points to our nearest uh, key, I guess, area. One, two, three, four. I don't see anything coming up here. These are all occupied by Germans. The only friendly spot we got that's anywhere near is uh, down here. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get you out of here. Is it exploded? Yeah, he's cut off right here. No lines of keys. He needs to get something going on through here. He needs a Tycon versus kind of blocking him. Anyway, we are attacking. Skylar is going to attempt to boogie out. We don't want to face that line of community. We, we got, we're showing our supplies. Our supply line's cut. We don't want to fight. We want to get out of there, so we will be rolling for an escape route. Uh, the Army of the North and the British have used up their two movement points that they're allowed. I don't think they get a river bonus in winter. We'll check that out, but that is as far as they can go, so if we make this escape, we're out of there and they can't pursue. Five or less. Also coming and destroy. Oh no, that's our magazine. It's our units there. Okay, we gotta get that him out of there too. So he'll retreat back to Northumberland, and I believe our fleet might be destroyed because there's no place for him to go. Let me check that out. Yeah, he's got to retreat. His only place he can go to is Ticonderoga, Saint Jean, and Valcor, I believe, are their little spots of operation. So that turn there might have just destroyed our lake fleet. We'll be right back. Before we roll for initiative, I'm gonna get this navy out of here. Just in case. I don't know. I don't know if the navy effects don't take effect till 77 either, but he gets five points. That'll take him on into Halifax for the winter. There you go. Alright, the other one I think is still in. Ooh. Montreal? Or we do our other, other Navy? Quebec? I know we got another Navy around here somewhere. What did we do with them? Oh, we found, oh, he got withdrawn. That's right. Okay, well, no big deal. We're set to go. It will be a roll for initiative. Last action pulse of the winter action cycle. Colonials want it last, so that's what happens when if it's a tie. Colonials win. English are pushing it. And they will take the first action pulse here. Uh, their last action pulse of the winner. Alright. We will see what the British wish to do. We'll be right back. Alright, then the Army of the North is going to roll for activation. And I just had a kind of a little idea. I don't know if it's in the rules. But hey, let's see if they fail it. They can't move during winter. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm going to look and see if that's part of the rules. It don't really say. It's got the goofy winter rule. Let's see this. Ah, I'm going to check this out. We'll be right back. Well, I'm a stickler for the designer's way they want it to be. Because I can play the game and see how the ending is with their mechanics. So it does say all units have only two movement points. So 
so much for that idea. Oh, why roll for his activation? All right, well, uh, huh, huh, huh. who wants to move? It is how wanting to move. Only a five or less. Just, just go with the procedure, I guess. He gets a one. He'll be able to be activated. He'll howl. He'll move his army of the north with two movement points. That's all he gets on that trail. And then I'll just get him right to Northumberland. All right. We will replace that with... Oh, where is it? <laughs> There's no way that marker's gone again. We'll be right back. All right, then. There you go. We've got the Battle of the Northern Armies coming up. Well, of course, with Skylar's negative durable modifiers, he's gonna scoot. So he's got—he does have an escape route too. Luckily for us, we have one escape route. If the uh, British would have put somebody at Sheboygan, it would have been bad news for the Army of the North. All right, looking for a five or less to move one space away. That's all the space. Left. The Army of the North will go from here to Sheboygan. He's one spot away. He can't pursue because he's only got two movement points. He used them up. And little cat mouth game continues. That is it for the British. Action Pulse, their last one of the winter. We'll see what the uh, Colonials want to do. The Rebel Raider Tupper, get him out of the way. We'll find out. We'll be right back. All right, then, Colonial, last action pulse of the winter. Quick season, but there will be important things going on because oh, I might want to maybe raise my volume, <laughs> see if everybody can hear me. I kind of talk a little low, kind of like a, a little bit of a Gilbert. Um, we had choices. We could have moved this unit here on up, get him into the action. But we, need, we don't want to threaten getting him cut off. He's got a good 15 strength points. He's going to tear it on up and come on down here and eliminate some of these units. So we'll be going for Skylar's activation. Five or less. They can only move two. All right, he can only move two. One will be here with Port Halifax. That will be a 15 to one. That's an auto victory. All right, with this other one, he'll move down here to Brunswick, and that'll take up his movements. I think these two units are history, these two Jira. Gives us some good German change. We've been waiting for that. Let me make sure that's the procedure there because there was an automatic victory. Maybe under here, under overruns, right back. All right, retreat before combat. Number one. Uh, one or two. Five. He's eliminated. Retreat before combat. Second one. One or two is what he needs. Six. They're both eliminated. So if they get a chance to retreat before combat without a leader, they only get a one or two result. They are overrun. The advance of retreating continues until the moving player either runs out of movement points or ends his move. There is no combat. There you go. We are good to go. We got some chains here. So we got some little German shooters here on the board. So we could place this one with this and this one with this thanks to the defeats. There you go. Because we are short German units. All right. Um... That'll be it. We're all right. Good turn by the Army of the North. Moving on out. We're ready to go into the, uh, oh, was this winter? Oh, it's okay. We're in winter. We forgot to move our daily. I guess now we'll be going to the year 1777. And uh, early spring. Let me make sure we're doing all of our housekeeping. At the end, let's move this on out. We'll start the new one. The British had it last spring, so we get to go up to a full complement of movement or action pulses with four each. Oh, come on over here. There we go. Uh, we're good. Save y'all the bull. We'll be right back. All right, for British requirements, after all players have moved their two action rounds. It don't come into effect until 1777. So, uh, especially I like this. Uh, both sides remove all magazines. We won't do that because the winter quartering hasn't taken effect, and they really haven't used them up yet. They'll use them up in winter quartering. So, we are ready for a initiative phase. Huh. 
Let's go here. Early spring turns. That's what we're doing. Either British first position says available magazines. Huh. Check that out. All right. Winter. We check this out. Make sure we're doing this all right. We'll be right back. All right. We're set to go. We did our winter turns. Two action rounds. Took care of all this, which mostly don't take effect. We had all this going on. We had our action cycles only composed of two initiative phases. Check for victory. Move our marker. We have moved it to early spring, 1777. And now we will be checking for reinforcements. Starting off with incorporating the 1777 cards from our decks. So we still have other cards to incorporate. Now we will be shuffling them into our draw deck. We'll be right back. I told you it had to be an inside deal. <laughs> we have found you, Oberus Krantz. And it is the project director, John Krantz. There you go. And we know old Colonel Collins. And we are going to incorporate these guys into the game. I don't know. They have taken on. I don't know if it was a little bit of a joke. We're going we're gonna to use them. We're going to put them in there and let them be leaders. We're in on it. It's all fun and games. So anyway, I just noticed that when I was uh, incorporating these cards. Oh, you got, got some really good illustrations. Good game. Having a great time in the winter when all the chores are done and you are lucky enough to have some free time our favorite hobby we'll be back all right before we move any further new hampshire is under colonial control all the key spots oh well, maybe not oh that's massachusetts there it is yeah there's the border right there north of northfield you can see there new hampshire is under british control so u.s political will will go down one and i'm going to check and see if the uh Oh, capture of one of the 13 colonies, one to the right. So there you go. British. Capture a colony and political will markers are being moved. There you go. Uh, now, we will come up to the early spring. Roll for each region. Every early spring turn, continental levy table. So we'll be checking to see who's on board with the cause and how much they will contribute. Keeping in mind, though, Militia maximums for each region. Stuff to do in the spring, having a great time. 1777 cards have been incorporated. All right, we'll be back. Ready to start this game up, having a good time, we'll be back.